and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over 10 fun facts about Jean Lafitte's National Historical Park and Preserve. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. Starting out with fact number one, Jean Lafitte's National Historic Park and Preserve is one of three National Historical Parks and Preserves located in the great state of Louisiana. Fact number two, in Jean Lafitte's day, gold and treasure were what filled a pirate's treasure chest. But today, the treasures are people, places, and memories. In the park, you can discover New Orleans' rich cultural mix, learn about Cajun traditions from people who lived them, watch an alligator bask on the bayou's banks, and walk in the footsteps of men who fought in an 1815 battle of New Orleans. Fact number three, South Louisiana, where the park is located, is known for alligators, Spanish moss, and live oak trees. But it is also home to armadillos, otters, and hundreds of species of birds. Fact number four, with more than 26,000 acres of wild of Louisiana wetlands, the Bar Terrias preserves hardwood forests, swamps, bayous, and marsh offers trails, picnic areas, fishing, hunting in season with permits, and wildlife viewing. This is the preserve part of Jean Lafitte National Historical Park and Preserve. Fact number five, shortly after the French founded New Orleans in 1718, engineers drew up a formal city plan for the New Orleans, the area that we now call the French Quarter. The city quickly expanded beyond those original boundaries to become an important American port. Fact number six, the site of the Battle of New Orleans in 1815 Chalmette Battlefield contains a reconstructed American rampart, an 1830s house, a 100 foot high Chalmette monument, and outdoor exhibits for self-guided tours. Fact number seven, just downriver from New Orleans in Chalmette is the site of the January 8, 1815 Battle of New Orleans, Chalmette Battlefield. Many people believe that this is the last great battle of the War of 1812 between the United States and Britain. It was quite unnecessary, since the treaty ending the war was signed in 1814, but the war was not actually over. Fact number eight, South Louisiana's foodways are edible representations of over 300 years of the region's history and have continued to one of the most persistent representations of culture and tradition in Louisiana. I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can find recipes and more info about the specific foods. Fact number nine, the three Acadian cultural centers of Jean Lafitte National Historic Park and Preserve share the stories and customs of Acadians who came to Louisiana and became Cajuns, people proud of their French roots who adapted the new land and a new life. Fact number 10, the Acadians became Cajuns as they adapted to their new home and its people. The French changed as did their architecture, music, and food. The Cajuns of Louisiana today are renowned for their music, their food, their ability to hold on to tradition while making the most of the present. Well everybody, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again and I shall see you next video. Bye!